Hi folks, this is Land Tech with another macro moment. In today's episode, I'm going to talk to you about how to cheat. Um, I raised this butterfly uh, from a kit. You can see one of the other cocoons still in the box because uh, the butterfly hasn't emerged yet. This one, this beautiful creature, emerged just this morning. And if you'll excuse my fingers and my, my wonderful production quality on these videos, um, I'm just out here with uh, what I kind of call the mobile studio, getting some shots of her before I have to turn her loose. But uh, you can see my artificial flowers in the background. And what I do is depending on what color I want the background to be, I just rotate the flowers so they get the color that I want. And because those <coughs> flowers are uneven, the texture is uneven, the background doesn't come out looking flat. So I get a very three-dimensional background, and because of the way that I light my subjects with a key and fill, like a, a portrait photographer, and with them being offset, um, I get a, a lot of really good 3D lighting on the subject as well, so the whole scene just kind of pops. I'm at a point in my photography where I just don't do black backgrounds anymore. Uh, they really just don't look good. So <clears throat> this is what you can do when you raise one yourself. You can also go out on a day like today, because the weather is just terrible, and find insects that are lethargic, and then carry them to a place where it's convenient to photograph them. Um, look for low-hanging fruit. Look for something easy to photograph. Look for something you can get a low angle on. So you can take a shot of a creature from an angle that we don't normally view them. Uh, those images are a lot more interesting like shooting from the angle where I'm, I'm videoing the butterfly right now, if I can get the camera to focus on it. Now, photograph the creature from this angle instead of photographing it from this angle because we see them from a top-down view all the time. So it's kind of dull. But you get down here on the creature's eye level and you can come up with some pretty interesting photos. That's all for this segment, folks. Until next time, happy shooting.